Barbara Walters, the esteemed American broadcast journalist, best-selling author and iconic TV personality, spent 25 years conducting interviews for 2020. After retiring from primetime, she made her way to daytime television with The View. But then in 2014, Walters made the difficult decision to leave the show behind. It was hard for audiences to imagine that actually happening. Would there really come a day when you'd turn on your television and not see Walters' face? As it turns out, yes, that's exactly what happened. Happened. Here's what she's been up to. A bit of rest. On the Friday of her final week on The View, Walters awoke extra early for an appearance on ABC's Good Morning America to discuss her retirement plans. The following Monday, she'd finally get to fully experience her sweet new lifestyle. She told ABC News, I'm going to lounge in bed until 3 in the afternoon. I have always had a schedule. I've always had deadlines. I've always had things to do. She went on to say how she was greatly looking forward to having nothing going on. As a woman who worked so hard for so long, her day Days of lounging around and keeping her schedule empty naturally didn't last forever. Partial Retirement you may not see Walters very much these days, but she's still only partially retired. Just as she continued to star on The View after stepping away from 2020, Walters' career is simply on the back burner, and she remained under contract with ABC post-retirement. In a 2014 interview with The New York Post, Walters said, I'm not looking for another job, but there are other things I might want to do. Maybe not necessarily at all, but I like that process of creating. While Walters wasn't planning a full retirement, she did did announce that she would be stepping away from ABC's 10 most fascinating people. Fast forward to 2015 and it became obvious that her decision didn't stick. She said in an announcement, I know we said last year was our last, but there are just too many fascinating people out there. And you never pass up the opportunity to interview Oprah, Neil Patrick Harris, Chelsea Handler or Scarlett Johansson. And of course, who could possibly do the job better than Barbara Walters? Be so good. Just work so hard, whatever it is, that you become invaluable. Disappearing Act In November 2016, Radar Online reported that Walters hadn't been photographed in public for over 130 days since the premiere of Woody Allen's movie Cafe Society on July 13. While 130 days sounds like a long time, that number has grown exponentially. As of the making of this video, Walters still hasn't been seen or photographed in public. She's also been abnormally quiet. In October 2017, a video of Walters interviewing Corey Feldman on a 2013 episode of The View resurfaced. Feldman was detailing abuse experienced at the hands of powerful men in Hollywood. Knowing what we know now about Harvey Weinstein and other members of Hollywood's elite, the interview is painful to watch. Walters rebuts Feldman's claims and even tells him, and sunglasses are an entire industry. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to say that that it's a very important, serious topic. Some felt Walters should publicly apologize to Feldman, but Walters was silent on social media even before the clip made its rounds. How's her health? Walters generally isn't one to publicize her health struggles. When speaking at the Breast Cancer Research Symposium and Awards Luncheon in October 2014, the then 85-year-old opened up about her personal connection to the disease. I discovered a small lump in my own breast, and under the expert care of Dr. Larry Norton, I had a lumpectomy. Walters said she hadn't discussed it publicly up until this point, as she felt there was no reason to. I told few people, and I'm fine, I've had no reoccurrence. In 2010, Walters also underwent heart surgery. Although she did announce her upcoming surgery plans on The View, she kept her condition private for quite some time. So, in September 2017, when TMZ reported that Walters had become forgetful, fearful of falling and isolated, people were concerned. But according to Walters PR rep Cindy Berger, it isn't true. When speaking with Fox News, Berger said, I see Barbara every two to three weeks and she's fine. I'm actually seeing her next week for tea. Perhaps Walters is simply enjoying her downtime and after a lifetime of making public appearances, just isn't feeling it anymore. Berger didn't provide any explanation regarding what Walters has been up to, but she definitely made one thing crystal clear. Barbara Walters is alive and well. Forever Immortalized 
Despite her recent reclusiveness, Walters is still very much a part of a big project. After donating a generous $15 million for the building of a campus center at her alma mater, Sarah Lawrence College, the students, faculty and staff wanted a way to thank her properly for the donation. We have only words, but with your gift, our gratitude will be shown in actions. Your legacy will live in manifold memories and experiences. At the outset of 2018, Sarah Lawrence College began building the $35 million Barbara Walters Campus Center. Not only will the center bear her name, but it will also feature the Barbara Walters Gallery of Fine Art, as well as the Barbara Walters Archives and Reading Room. Although Walters was unable to attend the groundbreaking ceremony, the 34,800-square-foot center is expected to open in fall 2019. Hopefully, Walters will make an appearance for the ribbon-cutting.